Hi and welcome to this video. So before we get into building one of these unsettling percussive loops that you most of the time hear in horror movie trailers, I want to talk about why Uncharted 88 is a no-brainer. So first of all, it's heaviosity. Hello. And second, not everyone has a piano at home and if you're most likely not looking forward to completely destroy it. I mean, I'm not sure if they entirely destroyed it, but the library sounds like as if there's nothing left. Okay, so now let's hop over to Studio One here and start building one of these unsettling psycho horror movie trailer loops from scratch. So the first thing we want to make sure is to just stick to one pattern and then evolve it from there. I know that I sound like a broken record here, but this is where so many composers go wrong. They try to incorporate four to five ideas into a single one and then mess up the entire atmosphere. Most important thing to me at the beginning to pick the right tempo. I just want to make this unsettling. So I don't want to make this like 60 or 120, which would be kind of similar to heartbeat. I want to make it a bit slower in this case. Okay, so I have the strings menu loaded and this is how these samples sound here. I think I go with this one here. So this is kind of my intro hit. Now I want to start working on that loop that is kind of like nerve wracking and sort of annoying straight from the beginning. So this is the samples I'm going to use. So for now, I'm going to copy that. So now let's jump over to the wood menu here and let's add some of these knocks. Okay, that's good for now. Okay, so now let's copy that entire thing and add. Oh yeah, let's add this one here. Let's quantize everything and duplicate this again because it's the same. Also, let's glue these together here. And what we do next is select these wood hits here and double time them. Okay, so next up, I want these to be really annoying because this is the purpose of a loop like this, but I don't want to make it too obvious copy and paste. So I'm going to add two of these samples here at the end of the phrase. Let's quantize this again so it sounds like this. And also let's copy that bit and start doing this over here at the end of every phrase. Now at the end of this phrase, it may sound too repetitive if we do this all again, because we would be able to detect the full pattern. And if it would be the same all the time, it would be a little bit too boring. So what I'm going to do is do is like a fast unexpected hit here and add another string rip here. So at the second run, we have something like this. Now what we need is a little bit of atmosphere, so I'm adding one of these piano hits here at this spot. Okay, so next up let's add a swell here at the end of the entire phrase. And also another piano hit here at the end, so it sounds like this. And most important thing, we are now at like 40 seconds. So I consider this to be the intro and we have a two bar gap before moving to the next section. And again, I can't stress this enough. Why do we do this gap? The simple answer is, first of all, we try to make the life for the trailer cutter easier. And second, it adds more tension to our track. Okay, so now I'm going to copy 
the second half of this and I also want to introduce some kind of like a two beat swell into the next part. So the entire transition sounds like this now. Now we're going to spice up that second half here, so we're adding more wood knocks. And some more stuff from the strings menu here. Okay, so next up I loaded these string scrapes here and I'm going to use this one and I tune it down two octaves. So minus 24, so it sounds like this. And I also want to change the sound a little bit more. So I'm using the filter, but I'm not using a high pass two, I'm using whatever low pass two. So it sounds really annoying. And then use this as a repetitive element on the second part here. Annoying. And next up I loaded the iron menu and I'm going to use some of these performances here. And I am of course putting that punish button here with a hurt me plenty setting all the way up to create something like this. Okay, so let's copy that entire section here. Let's put that piano hit in here. Okay, so next up I want to build a pattern that is completely falling out of this concept that we did before and I just loaded these mod wheel jammers here and I just want to do something a little performance like so I think this could be even more annoying so let's just pitch that up one octave here also, let's, uh, I don't care, let's punish that too here. That's good. Let's copy that to the second half. Okay, so I loaded another instance of the piano hits here, just in case if you want to do some more sound design and not change this, the previous sounds that I used. And on the second half, we could have uh, piano hits that kind of like increase the tempo. Let's add a few more. Last but not least, let's copy that swell over here. Just get rid of the first one and just use this. Okay, so for now, let's pretend this would be something like a teaser trailer, something with a length of one minute, one minute 30 something. We would be perfectly prepared now to fill this thing up with uh, strings, violins, cello effects or whatever. We could also add more percussion, more weird sound design. But even by only using these Uncharted 88 instruments that we used so far, we would be perfectly set up for a license or a trailer track going in this direction. Okay, so let's listen to this track again. I already say thank you so much for checking out this video. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And most important, don't forget to check out Uncharted 88 on the Heaviosity website. I put all the information below in the video description and now let's check out this track one more time. Bye for now.